Hello everyone, Emmanuel Watila here. As you can see from the title, we'll be designing a camera application in this tutorial. So let's check some of the tools we'll be working with. Now the first tool is the move tool. Now this is very basic, it's just used for moving elements, including your artboards across your workspace. A frame tool is used for creating artboards that you would work with. So artboards like those of iPhones and Apple Watches, all can be done with the frame tool. The next one is the shape tool. Now the shape tool allows you to draw shapes. So circles, triangles, lines, and the rest. Now the text tool. Now the text tool helps you in adding text to your design and adjusting them. Now since we're done with the basics, let's jump into it. So since we're all familiar with the uh, tools and terminologies that we'll be using in Figma, the first thing is we're going to do is to jump into the frame tool and we want to create a frame as you can see there are presets on the right side that list out a few number of devices that you could use so we are going to go for the iphone 11 pro uh, or slash x so this puts a frame uh, in your workspace now you want to we align this frame to where we feel like it's good for me it's right around here so that is okay for me now the next thing we want to do is to put an image in the camera so that it looks like you're actually taking a picture so I have a plugin called on splash well you might you might not have this but you could check figma.com forward slash community and there's going to be a host of plugins that you could uh, install on your figma now you're just going to search for a portrait of a person and we have numerous portraits but we are going for this one because i've gone ahead of time to pick this particular uh, picture as so after we click it you see that it's there in the frame now the next thing we want to do is to create a top toolbar and the bottom bar which will house the camera mode uh, the camera clicker and other uh, functionalities so now we're going to go to our shape tool and just click on it and then we're going to come over here and draw a nice little box that takes up just enough space here we we might readjust this later when we're coming back so we're going to duplicate this box here and take it to the top so we hold down alt and you see this double mouse thing and you click and then you drag to the top and then you release your mouse and now you have a copy at the top we're going to reduce this a little so it's like that so now what we want to do from looking at so many camera applications we want to make these two rectangles black like all the way black so there we go now with this particular box we want to like give it a, a lighter opacity which might not be noticed that much but when designs are being exported usually you might start to notice these things so we're just going to have this both at black so there we go our camera application is coming along nicely now the next thing we want to do is to put in uh, those tools that we have at the very top of our toolbar that we created so we're just going to take this group of icons here and we're going to change the selection color here to white because we're putting it on a black background so we get this we bring them here and we put them at the center now these are too close together so we use this spacing tool here and then we change the spacing to around 100 which is too much so we dial it back to maybe 70 i think 70 should just be okay nice 70 is just right and we want to reduce the size of the icons to maybe 14 by 14 that's too small so maybe 20 by 20 okay that is okay so now we have them at the center of both the screen and the box that rectangle that is there now the next thing we want to do 
is to design the clicker for our uh, uh, camera so it's going to be really simple we come to our shape tool click on the ellipse tool and then we just basically click in this area here and now we have a circle that we could use as our clicker now we want to reduce the size of this to maybe 70 by 70 and then next thing we want to do is to uh, create a stroke around it so a line around it and then we change this to a complete white because it's on a black background and then the next thing we do we hide the fill color and now we have a nice uh, circle that we could use for our clicker for the camera now like we duplicated the rectangle we want to also duplicate this so we click and drag and then we reduce the size to a 50 by 50 or maybe let's do a 60 by 60 so that this just 10 between them and we put this right at the middle here but this time around we show the fill color and we bring it to white and then we remove the stroke entirely so there you go now we want to group this by pressing ctrl g and then ctrl r to rename it and then we call it the clicker so now we have our clicker in place and then we have our click action toolbar at the very top now the next thing we want to bring into this is this rotate uh, icon the rotate icon as you might have guessed would be for rotating uh, the camera so whether using the front or the back camera so we put this somewhere around here at the edge so that it aligns with the icon at the very top and the next thing we want to do is to create a frame but this time around we're going to draw it up ourselves so a 50 by 50 frame should be okay and as you guess this is going to be this is going to be where we show pictures that have already been taken so like pictures that have already been taken that have been showcased there so now we still want to run the same plugin uh, on splash on it and we could pick any uh, picture we want this here if you click on any it just generates a random uh, image for you based on the tag so we click this and there we go so we have uh, an image that was already taken before now we want to increase this rectangle just a little bit why because we're going to add the camera modes to this bar here so how we're going to do that is just we click the text tool and then we come in here and then we type uh, what we need you won't see this but we want to change the fill color to this color here that I've already typed out so we could just click in here and type FB13C. So this is the color that comes up. Now we want to change this size to around a 10 so that we have uh, a really small, not too, it's not going to be taking too much of the display. So now that we have that, we align it at the middle. And now we just copy and paste this. So as you can see, we have all the tools we need. So now we just change this to white. And there we go. So okay, now that we've copied and pasted this, we could make a few changes to the write-up. So. and just some fun things to write uh, and then we should be able to change that to and so we have so we could even add something at the back So we've created a nice looking uh, camera application. Now we can decide to do so many things with this. We'd be able to uh, 
add some feature where we have overlays and the rest but this is just uh, a speedy beginner intro into using figma and um yeah uh, that's it